What's up everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim. Gonna be playing some PTCGO today, giving away some codes as well here. This is my last stream that I need to do in order to get partner status. That is uh, to say if I don't completely bomb the averages here. <laughs> my average viewers has been about a hundred, so I'm well over the 75 average that I need to get partner. This should be the last stream that I need in the last 20 eight days to get that 12 stream uh, total that I need to apply for partner again. So super stoked on that. Gonna be rocking something new today. I got some Passimian that I'm gonna be trying out here. This is just the sixth place list from the Harrogate Regional Championships. I've been getting some flack from one of my friends, Matt Price, because I don't think that Passimian is that great of a deck. But Matt Price really thinks Passimian is, uh, is awesome. So I'm gonna try the deck out a little bit and see how it goes. Matt really likes a Victini in here and does not like the whole McCargo thing. So this is something I'm gonna be trying back and forth. Do we think that McCargo is the best way to play Basimian, or is it better without McCargo and maybe just a Victini and some more consistency cards? What's up? We got Natalie and Riley hanging out in the chat. Thank you guys for joining me today on this lovely Sunday. I've got my... Uh, Got my jingle bells on. We are in the Christmas spirit, ready to go. Got ourselves a Passimian start here, one of these power huddle fellas that's gonna go on the bench. I'm going first, so there's no real reason to play anything else down. And we get a mulligan card, so that is pretty dope as well. We're playing against some sort of Glaceon deck, should be pretty cool. Well, what's up guys, thank you for joining us here. Today, last stream before, hopefully I can apply for partners, so really, really excited. All right, we're good. I got an Ultra Ball, I've got a Counter Energy, I got a Flippity Flap. I can't believe this thing's attack is called Flippity Flap. I'm not exactly sure, what do we rally back for? We rally back just to do more damage, I guess, and since we're playing the McCargo, I guess like we can't really play Victini, because Victini does more for the amount of basics you have in play. And uh, yeah, so the Shaman's kind of like just the next best thing that we have. So we're gonna start off with a couple of those guys here. Might be playing against some sort, oh, we're playing against, that's right, we're playing against uh, that deck, sure. Okay, so we'll do this, and then I think I just Ultra Ball for a Slug. I think I just go and grab that Slug, that's fine. And then I probably get rid of the Flippity Flap too, to be honest, I'm like okay with that. So we'll get rid of the Flatmeister. We're gonna go get ourselves a Slugman, maybe a Tapu Coco, I guess, but probably just a Slugman. And then we're probably just gonna go in early here. <clears throat> right, that's what I'm saying, Riley. Riley backs your strongest attack into basic Pokemon without Victini, right? So that's what I'm saying, like since we can't play Victini, Rally back is just the next best option that we have. I like Victini, but this list plays Macargo. So the rally back just makes a lot of sense. Definitely agree with that. I think we're just going for a slug here. That, that kind of just makes the most sense. So we're gonna get that fella out, and then we're just going counter energy on the active. No real other place to put this, and let's just instruct for three. See what we got going on here. This should be a pretty favorable matchup, I think. Oh, busted. I don't actually want to commit that choice ban anywhere else, but I'm fine with a Lily four. Uh, you know, six, that is a ton. We got the McCargo, we got the Nest Ball. I am cool, so let's check out what this Nest Ball can get for us and get ourselves our other Passimian. We have all four Passimian in deck. That's pretty, pretty sweet, honestly. I think we just go and grab that. Uh, and then I guess I can just fail this first one and then we'll get the second one to kind of just like pare our hand down a little bit and so we can, you know, draw more things with the Ultra Ball and the McCargo and we should just be ready to roll. So this is kind of like the dream setup here. Go ahead, my opponent can just go. And we got an incredible first turn here with the Passimian deck. So I really am interested to see if this deck is legit or not. I played in a, uh, <coughs> I played in a League Cup this past weekend, did not go well. It was only like a 20 person League Cup, it only cut to a top four. Everybody there was hating on Blacephalon, and Blacephalon is the only like GX deck that I have the cards for. 
in the current standard format. I don't own Alola Ninetales yet. It's just been really difficult to get a hold of those, so I just still don't own those. So I'm interested to find out like what's going to be my favorite like non-GX deck in the current standard format. Blacephalon was just super hated on. I played against a uh, I played against a Sceptile deck, which was like super, super close. Yeah, Riley, I'm not going to play Zorok. Sorry, <laughs> I'm not playing that. But uh, I played against a Sceptile deck. I almost beat it as well. Uh, I was like super close. And then like the turn before I had two prizes remaining and he was, and I had let loose him into a dead hand and he top decks rare candy and rare candies into a Sceptile to protect all his Pokemon with grass energy on them. So I was just like... Uh, it was super crazy. I had to try and go in with Tapu Lele to knock out like a shuckle. It was horrible. Uh, it was just uh, really, really tough. All right, my opponent's gonna scoop it up. They just knew they didn't have it like that. You know, started off with a uh, with a sightseer. You know, never what you want to do. Sightseer turn one. I mean, just kind of a suboptimal supporter there. Let's get it monkeying around. All right, we got 1-0 with the monkey deck. 1-0 with Passimians. Stoked on it. It's uh, apparently undefeated. We're playing against uh, God Shifu here. Let's see what God Shifu has in store for us. Thank you all so much for hanging out today on a Sunday. Christmas Eve Eve. Christmas Eve's Eve. Hope you guys are all having a nice weekend and also just going to have a nice week ahead. Hopefully you guys got some time off work, time off class, so on and so forth. Just some time to relax and enjoy yourselves. I know I'm taking some time here. I'm actually getting surgery on Thursday. So I am getting surgery on my knee on Thursday. So that's going to be kind of a big thing here. But And I'm not traveling either. Usually I travel to Baltimore for the Christmas holiday. But not going. My parents are actually going to come up here, so I'm really excited about that as well. All right, we're just going to go ahead and nest ball. Let's grab ourselves a Passimian. Get that fella out. Let's see, we got all four Passimian in deck again. Uh, busted. Natalie, let's uh, let's give away a code. Yeah, so okay, Natalie's... I'll get it. I'll do it when I'm ready. She says she'll do it when she's ready. I want more people in here first. Ah, she wants more people first. We can give one for the early worm. All right, I'll give, I'm going to give a lead code out first. Though. A lead code. All right, all right. She's here. She's going to give us... Give a code away for the early birds. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Appreciate it. All right. We've got Tapu Coco in the active. That's cool. Looks like I'm playing against some sort of... Mm, some sort of Bulu deck, maybe. Yep, it's a Bulu. It's a Bulu with Alolan Vulpix in the active. I mean, maybe they're playing Alolan Ninetales GX in order to set up their Bulu deck. Uh, they seem pretty intent on getting... Oh! And they play fairy energies. And Professor Kakui. Wow. I mean, wow. I just, you know, didn't see that coming. This is this Bulu deck seems to have it all. Uh, you never know what you're gonna play against in the middle of the day. Zerkatry! <laughs> I think I just lose. Oh god. They have uh one, two, three, four, five. They have five uh five prizes out for me right now. If they bench the Zerka Tree and something else, I can win. If they don't bench anything else with the Zerka Tree, I just lose. Period. So we're gonna we're gonna see what we can get here. I think I uh, probably just start off. They're de right. They're definitely gonna evolve a little nine tails and just give it to me. I agree, Riley. They're totally totally about that life. All right. We guess I guess we could potentially get there with Shrine against the Zerka Tree if like he doesn't play any counter stadiums. So I'm thinking here, we got the Passimian. I'm thinking we're just going to like flying flip a little bit, kind of soften some people up. So I want to get myself a double colorless energy. That's fine. Yeah, let's just, uh, we could ultra ball away the judge and the acro bike. That's probably, I could actually, I could judge my opponent as well. Like that would be pretty rad. Yeah, let's stack the DC. I kind of like that. Let's stack the double colorless. And then... Since they did just go in and get the, uh, you know, they got themselves some Pokemon, we're just going to Acro Bike into the Double Colorless. Got him. And then Flying Flip, Judge, and kind of go from there. That, that seems fine. All right, let's just do that. Judge. Let's give him a hand of four here. Busted draws off the Judge. We got Nest Ball, so we can go get ourselves an Oranguru as well and another Passimian. That is really, really good. So love that. Honestly, incredible. Got the double colorless for next turn as well. 
Let's get that Oranguru out. It's crazy. I never really noticed the synergy here. We got Oranguru's a monkey, Pissimian's a monkey. We just got like all the monkeys out here in this deck. There's just so much monkeying around. It's a lot of fun, man. Sweet stuff. All right, let's get in and fly and flip here. 20 damage to everybody. My opponent's only got a four card hand. Busted. Great. That thing's taking residual damage as well. Just gonna soften everybody up. It'll be the water Alola Ninetales? Dude, Zeely, they got fairy energy right there. It's not gonna be <laughs> not gonna be the water Alola Ninetales. Come on now. We all know that. Now, this uh, McCargo Acro Bike interaction is super sick. I really like that. So we can just smooth over, put Guzma on top, and then Acro Bike into Guzma. And we could just pop that Tapu Bulu pretty easily. We could also just hit into Grubbin. Uh, we could knock out the Grubbin there, which would be super sweet as well. Oh, thank you, Dr. Quake and Poker for the code. Appreciate it. And Chris Tucker for the bits. Y'all rock. Thank you so much. Appreciate the, uh, appreciate it. Appreciate the support. You guys rock. All right, let's, uh, let's smooth over here, get ourselves that, uh, get ourselves the Guzma. And then I think we just take out that Grubbin. Just seems seems reasonable. We got enough, uh, yeah, we're doing like 70 with team play. That's probably fine. We could you know, just take more time here, but I think honestly with the, uh, you know, just a, that thing potentially evolving into a, yeah, potentially evolving into a, you know, whatever. What am I, what am I saying here? Chris Ducker, thank you for the bits, man. Thank you. That thing evolving into a, a Vika Vault. We ain't trying to really have all that going on. So let's get ourselves a Guzma. We play four Guzma, so that's pretty sweet. Let's get that Acro Bike. Grab the Guzma. Sick. Thanks, Chris Tuckard. Appreciate the support, my man. Awesome. All right, and then we're going to Guzma up the Grabbin. Go get him, Pissimian. Now's your time. All right, and then we're just going to instruct for one. That's fine. Got an Ultra Ball, a couple Ultra Balls here. Opponent's gonna scoop it up, busted deck, 2-0 with Passimian, man. Can't get anybody out here in the middle of the day to stay fighting. Oh, thank you, inmate, for the bits. Christmas cheer, spreading it, filling that stocking up. You guys rock, man. Appreciate the love and support today. Christmas Eve Eve, man. Let me know what you guys wanna see here on PTCGO. I'll take some requests. Christmas Eve's Eve. We gotta spread the Christmas cheer. So I'm down for, for whatever. Whatever you guys wanna see. I kinda wanna keep the monkey streak going though. So whatever we got going on with Passimian, I kinda wanna see how far we could take it. How much can we win? I think we're like 2-0 now. So 2-0 with Passimian. Busted deck Passimian. And we're gonna see how many we can get. Uh, by the way, guys, check out my new banner on Mahone's Tricky Gym on YouTube. And let me know what you think. I hosted an art contest for the month of November and December. Hosted an art contest on Tricky Gym. Hopefully you guys were able to check out all the submissions. They were incredible. Uh, announced my grand prize winner. That was amazing. So uh, Hen LP won with this incredible snowboarding Mega Sableye. It was like completely nuts. It was awesome. I know, Riley, This should, we should just be like eating in this matchup, right? Like we're just good to go. All right, Zeely, except for Expanded. Yeah, all requests except for Expanded. Yeah, yeah, no Expanded. Um, I think here, the <laughs> I'm, I'm done with Expanded. I'm done with Expanded. I'm writing off Expanded until further notice. Let's go in. My opponent's got like a pretty big hand. I could probably judge them. Like, that's just fine. Let's just go get ourselves the Tapu Coco here. Yeah, that's pretty rad. And then we could just, uh, we could Escape Rope. It's cool. You have to play Sponge's Revenge. I don't think that I'm gonna play Sponge's Revenge, unfortunately. Yeah, couldn't see it. <laughs> Mega crowd. <laughs> oh, Natalie, thank you for the code giveaway. Appreciate it. There we go. All right, so we're gonna go Ultra Ball away the Guzma and the Tapu Lele, I think. That's fine. And we're just gonna go get ourselves. I think we just get a Rangaroo. And so that way we're like guaranteed some some draw here out of this judge. So that feels good. And then I think I judge first and then I'll Orangaroo later. Seemed right at the time. It did seem correct when I did it. 
but I don't know. We'll see. All right, we got Shrine here. We got Tapu Coco again. Let's acro bike. Let's see what we got. A Lily. All right, we got a Lily and a Counter Energy. I think I have to keep the Lily. Yeah, I think I gotta keep the Lily. Yeah, that's fine. All right, we'll keep the Lily. And then we can instruct. We have not instructed yet. We could rescue stretcher the duder back into the deck. That's probably fine. But I want to kind of save it just in case, just in case I get my Tapu Coco knocked out. So we'll just instruct for one, and then we'll do it next turn. <laughs> what do we want? <laughs> Unreal, Riley. <laughs> Unreal. All right, so not too much going on on that first turn there. We'll retreat into the other Tapu Coco. This matchup should be cool for us. What's up, Zach Burkle? What's up? Luca Kiz, what's up? Did I do ja Japan's winning deck? What is Japan's winning deck? Which deck are you guys talking about? Curious. I was thinking of ways to counter this Gyarados deck if you were a Blacephalon player, since Blacephalon is my favorite. Oh, get that muck out of here. No, 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 no. Bad, very bad. All right, so I was gonna say, yeah, this matchup should be great, but uh, seems kind of sketch. And they got Tate and Liza. What in the world? Tate and Liza. Thank you, Blue Meteor, for the bits. Filling that stocking up. I know, the stocking is looking swole today. The stocking is filled. Natalie was giving me a hard time earlier today, full disclosure. She said that her stocking is not looking as filled as mine. And uh, <laughs> was telling me that I needed to step, uh, step my stocking game up because apparently mine is like bursting at the seams. I told Natalie that hers has some very nice things in it. Oh, Natalie, thank you for the bits. Thank you. But, uh, you know, so she was saying that her stocking game was better than mine. But I don't really know if I agree with that. It's just, uh, you know, that's just what she was saying. You know, just it's not about the size that matters. It's not the size that counts. It's the thought that goes into the stocking. There's a lot of thought in my stocking, all right? So I was thinking of ways to counter this Gyarados deck. What you could do... All right, I had a bunch of very kind of interesting ideas. I had a bunch of interesting ideas. That's right, Ride is beating for not enough. Take it. All right. Uh, all right, I'll get to my I'll get to my idea after I take my turn here. I don't want to misplay too bad. So here we go. Going to shuffle that dude back in for sure. Thank you so much, Zach Burkle, for the bits. Bit party out here today. Appreciate it. Awesome stuff here. I think I kind of have to just attach the choice band even though I really don't want to. Okay, we've got a Passimian and we've got a Nest Ball, but not really anything else going on. That's fine. I'm just content getting a Passimian out and we'll get another Passimian out. And I guess, yeah, like Muck prevents this things. This doesn't even work, that's horrible. Muck is just gonna like shut this entire deck down. Um, okay, so we just retreat into the other one. Sure, okay, go ahead, my guy. That's it, we'll let Shrine kind of do its job, and then eventually we need to get more Passimians into play, and, uh, you know, whatever. I mean, my opponent will eventually start taking knockouts, right? All right, but the ideas, all right, big brain ideas. Yes, Giraffe Rig, that's what I'm saying. So you play Giraffe Rig, Zeely's already ahead of me. You play Giraffe Rig, and you play a uh, Lysander Prism, right? And between Giraffe Rig and Lysander Prism, if you put them both in your Blacephalon deck, you ship all the Magikarps off to the Lost Zone. GG, no re. Gyarados just tickles you and doesn't do anything. So that was that was my big brain idea I had at the cup. But nobody was playing Gyarados, so I didn't really bother doing it. But it's a two-card inclusion you can put into the Blacephalon deck, and it would give you a pretty good shot of beating this guy, right? So you could uh, counter the counter, and that would be pretty rad. Yes, Christian, this is a Christmas stream. This is our Christmas giveaway, stocking stuffer, code giveaway, Christmas stream, sure. And I got my jingle bells on, can't you tell? Though I am disappointed, I wore a very like spring looking shirt. I should have worn a more Christmassy looking, you know, shirt here, but that's, that's fine, yeah. You know, it's all good. Counter the counters. I know, Riley. Yes, you can counter the counters. <clears throat> yes, Genertastic. Yes, you choose which cards you want from their discard pile to put into the Lost Zone. So it's completely Bastanio. 
Very good. All right. Here we go. Tapu Koko in the active. Shrine still doing its work. I don't think that this deck plays any sort of... It plays a ton of healing, but no real, like, shrine counter. So that's just kind of what they got going on there. We got a Cynthia and just hope for a counter energy and a Simeon, I think. Like, that's just... That's kind of what we need. Yep. Yeah, yeah, didn't quite get there. All right. So I think we just bring... Yeah, we just... We just, like, flying flip this turn, I think. We're not quite there with Passimian, because we would only be doing, like, 80 damage. Yeah, it's kind of horrible. So I think we just do that, and we just, uh, we Sir Flying Flip. That seems reasonable. I could bring the Tapu Coco back, I guess, and we could, hmm, if I bring the Tapu Coco back, that seems kind of bad, though. I don't necessarily want it, but that gives me... That gives me free retreat as well. But if I let this thing get knocked out, then I have a potential to get, like, all my Passimians out next turn. Like, the potential, but I'm probably not getting all my Passimians out next turn. So I think we're just going in with Passimian next turn. That's just the dealio. But if I rescue... I'm going to end up rescue stretching a Coco next turn anyway. So I might as well just bring the Coco back this turn. Okay. That's that's kind of my thought. So like next turn before the Lily, I'm probably going to rescue Stretcher for a Coco. So I might as well have the Coco out right now. That's kind of just where I'm at. Okay, that's fine. We'll just flying flip here. I kind of want this Coco to get knocked out. So whatever. I don't really mind putting up the damaged one. It's fine. Thank you, Doctor Quake and Poker, for the codes. You rock, my man. You rock. That's awesome. And thank you, Natalie, for giving away some codes as well, helping me out there in the chat. Hopefully, you guys can nab some of those. Uh, got quite a few codes to give away, and then I could figure out something else to give away. I got some stuff lying around the studio. We could organize, orchestrate something, where maybe we do like a trivia question, right? Some sort of trivia question, and then whoever got the answer first, um, you know, is the winner. So I'm gonna cook up something, and maybe if uh, I don't know, Natalie, if you want to help me, kind of cook up a, we could give away we like just a, a giveaway command in the chat, and somebody will bot will pick a winner. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll set that up right now. Hmm. Sweet. I want to do a trivia question too, though. Okay. Trivia is okay. so fun. Um. I'll, I'll look into that. And then you could just like, you know, and then uh, I guess I could just like DM, you know, somebody. Uh, and they could just uh, give me their address and then ship it out. Yes, no mods can win the trivia, though. Yeah, mods are mods are disqualified, all right? You guys know too much. So I have a bunch of stuff I could give away. I got some PSA 9 Misty's Determinations. I got uh, a signed Misty from Rachel Lillis I could potentially give away. I got a pack of Pearl Dragon Shields, limited edition Pearl Dragon Shields I could give away. That's pretty sweet. Oh, I got plenty of Sabrina playmats. I could give away a Sabrina playmat. I could totally give away a Sabrina playmat. So, Natalie wants to figure out how to do something like that. Who is Dr. Quack and Poker? That would be a good trivia question. You are very correct. All right, so that muck is really doing a number on me here. That's like really kind of messing with my jam. You know what I'm saying? That's really, really bad, yeah. So... This is not good at all. And they're Acer rolling and stuff. Like, it's just, it's just no bueno. Like, I think this is just a losing scenario, no matter which way we cut it. I think we probably just go in with the Coco again and then eventually have to kind of, like, rearrange with this Tapu Lele. It's kind of what it's looking like here. So I'll put the choice ban there, and we're kind of just going to commit this thing down and then Lily for as many as we can. So we're going to flying flip one more time. And my goal was to, there we go, all right, we can actually start to, you know, pick the things that we get now because we have Macargo and Acrobike. So that's not the worst, but we just need to, like, flying flip, and then next turn we can uh, knock out the muck with the Tapu Lele, but by then we're going to be, like, way too far behind, I think, because, you know, my opponent has just been healing and all sorts of crazy stuff, so... So we've got 160, 160, 200, 260, 300 damage. We've got 300 damage. We can allocate 120 of that. So then we have, we actually have 180 to work with after we put, you know, 20 of it on the muck. So we're actually not that bad off because I could take three prizes next turn. Uh, yeah, well, I you know, spoke too soon. Okay, so that, uh, that's a real bummer for me for sure. But we're still not that bad. I just can't take a three-prize turn. 
but I can take a multiple prize turn. All right. well, I have the trivia. You're probably just gonna have to do yourself. Yeah. So, like you just pick the first person who says it. Yeah. But I have a I have it set up so that I can enter. I can start a giveaway if you want me to do that. Sweet. Uh, how could you start a giveaway, Natalie? When I start it, people who type in a certain word will be entered, and then I can just pick. Then I'll just let it pick whoever. Ah. Uh -huh. Hmm. Um, I don't really. What do you mean when people enter a certain word? What do you mean? Bot. People type in a word and then they get entered and then I pick pick a winner and it just picks a random person. And so is it is the word like an answer to a trivia can, question? No, you're saying? I can just I don't know. I can just make it anything and they can all enter. Ah, okay. Or it can be anybody, everybody in the chat. I don't know. Sure. Let's do uh yeah do a giveaway, uh and then I'll come up with a word that everybody has to type in order to enter, what and huh? What was what word would you like me to say? Uh, Merry Christmas. It'll be Merry Christmas at All the enter. Uh, what's that? All one word. All one word. Okay. And then uh, and then the, the bot will randomly pick the giveaway, and I'm going to give away the uh, the Dragon Shields. We'll give away the Dragon Shields. So we'll do that. But do it in like five minutes or so. Okay. Alrighty then. So we're going to do that. I'm going to give away a box of the Pearl Dragon Shields here. Let's see. I think this is the turn that we have to do the Tapu Lele. Yeah, this is, uh, this is that turn for sure. So we're in a tough spot. My opponent's only got three prizes remaining. We have to knock out the, um, yeah, we have to knock out the, the muck, 120. All right, so we got 70, uh, we got 180, plus 40, 220, plus 40, 260. So we can knock out the muck. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's just, let's start going here. So we're gonna, yeah, the timer, the timer is like on, uh, breathing down my neck right now. That's that's not good. All right, we'll get this fella. That's fine. And then we are going to smooth over. Give me that counter energy, my guy. I need the counter energy. Muy bien. Oh, Muck, Carp, Zrua. I think I'm with you there, Otto. Um, the acro bike. Oh no, <laughs> the cursed acro bike. Uh, that's fine. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna get this, and then I kind of like everything else in my hand. Uh, I guess I could have Guzman something up if I had like been a little bit more, you know, like savvy about this turn. But that's fine. Okay, I actually, I'm gonna have to, I'm just gonna use a, a winner command, and so it'll just pick a random user in the chat. Okay. Whenever you feel like it. All right, that's fine. Okay, so Natalie says she can't quite figure out how to get it to do everything that she needs it to do. So. Yeah. She's just gonna have everybody in the chat entered and then someone randomly is gonna win and then you have to DM me. If you're the winner, you'll have to DM me in order to claim your prize, okay? And that's the way that it works. And I guess, Natalie, you logged on to my Twitch over there? You're logged on to yours, I guess. Uh, mine. Yeah, 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 so you'll have to DM me and then if you DM me, by the end of the stream, I'll check the DM, DM me your address. That's the way that it works, all right? And then I can send you your prize. So, first up, I'm going to be giving away a box of limited edition dragon shields. Can you go get them, Natalie? Yes. Sweet. All right. All right, so we got that thing. Select a Pokemon to move damage counters from. I think we go from here, and we start knocking out the Zerua. Sweet. All right. So we've got, yeah, we've got like six. I think, yeah, I can knock out all three of these, right? And can I move magic? As long as I prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks. Is... All right, quick question, chat. Can I move damage to the Magikarp, or will that just disappear? That seems bad if it just disappears, so. I think I can move damage there, because this is damage counters placed, right? I think, it's not actual damage. Move any number of counters, yeah. So it's it should be fine. All right, so we're gonna do that. What time should we draw that we can do the winner at a certain time? At a certain time? Yeah, let's start that way. One fifteen. Oh, uh, three minutes, I'll give it a little longer, One thirty. One thirty. All right, we're gonna draw the winner at one thirty. Sounds good. All right, so at 1.30, here's the box of Pearl Dragon Shields. They are white, but like a little more shimmery. They're very nice. Huh? Oh, yeah. Sweet. Are you going to like tweet it or something? Sweet. Natalie's like really on top of things. She's great. All right, I think I moved. Yeah, I, I did it wrong. I like spaced out there for a second. All right, let's get this Magikarp out of here. Sure. And then we're going to take three prizes. Insane. And then let's move the final... Yeah, I guess the final damage counter is up here to the active, right? I don't know. Seems like it makes the most sense. I guess, yeah. And then I'll only have to take two more prizes. So, like, that's, or two more knockouts, and I can win the game. 
I guess I'll move the other ones over there. That's fine. I kind of want them like spread out. Like I'm going to put some on the Zorark, some on both Zorarks. Um, and then we're going to call it, call it there. So that's really good. All right. And then we'll put the final 10 damage on the active. So that way you can't really heal it all, right? He's got like 30 and 20 on those two. All right. That's fine. Skadoosh, get out of here. Tapu Lele, doing its thing, taking a ton of knockouts. We know now that the uh, Magikarp, the Gyarados, is not going to be an issue. My opponent's only got two Zoroarks in play. They can only trade twice. They're taking more damage from Shrine. I've got my abilities back. We should be able to win this game. I've got two Passimians here. And I've got my Macargo Oranguru engine. I've got an Acro Bike in hand. I've got Guzmas. I can like I can make some things happen right now. And we're tied, so they're going to go down to two prizes. Then I could potentially just out trade because they are going to have one final turn. I just need to take knockouts each of the next two turns in order to win. If they put down anything that can evolve into a Muck. I can knock it out with a Passimian or so on and so forth. So I just need my double colorless energies to be able to win this game. I've got three left in deck. We should be pretty good to go, uh, I think, anyway. So we were able to fight our way out of this one. It was definitely a little bit tough, but the Tapu Lele there is definitely incredible. They're going to take out the Macargo. That is a smart choice on their part just because it makes it so that I can't stack whatever I want on top of my deck. And they're going to let loose me. Ah, that is a really tough. That's a very good play from my opponent. So extremely strong there. The let loose. Oh, my gosh. And all we've got is Kakui. Oh, boy, this is bad. Okay, so this could get very ugly very quick. And then I can't actually, like, I could still win because I have an extra turn here where I can magical swap onto the Magikarp again and take a prize. So then all I need to do is just take my final prize for game. So I have like, I have it, like I could do it still. It's just, uh, they're making it for sure like hard mode on me here. It's not exactly easy. All right, so we've got Tapu Koko, we've got Latios, and we just have to Kukui and see where we're at after that Kukui. All right, so Kukui, Acrobike DC. All right, so I think here we actually magical swap first. I think we magical swap first, and then I take out the. I think I like that. Yeah, let's sure. Let's acrobike. See what we get off the acrobike. Passimian and DC. That's kind of sketch. Um, I think. We take the Passimian. I obviously could knock out the Zorak, but then all my counter energies don't work. Let's see. So if we knock out the Zorak right now, we're doing, let's see, 30, 70, 80, 110. We could knock it out with the Zorak right now. I think we take the Passimian. That's fine. Um, and then we just go here. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking, Riley. I'm with you on that one. Okay. So I think we just go, yeah, that's fine. Do, do, do. Sure, we'll do that. And then we're going to magical swap. My opponent is probably not going to be able to, you know, do everything that they need here. So we just got the double colorless energy. We got the bench full of Passimians. All I need to do is just attack for game. So we're going to do this, knock out that, and then keep these two kind of like damaged. And I'm kind of cool with that, like 30 and 30. Seems fine. Um, I guess we can kind of put like... We could put 20 onto the new Zerua as well. I kind of like that. Yeah, let's actually, so like that way Acerola doesn't give them like a clean Zorark. I'm not, like I haven't done the math. Like I don't think it actually matters, but I feel like having like that kind of feels the best. So yeah, all right, we'll go down to two prizes remaining and now we just need to take out a Zorark for games. Not exactly great, but at least I have an Ultra Ball here so I can kind of pare my hand down and instruct for potentially a game-winning play, like maybe a Guzma or something. We do have three Guzmas in the deck, which is absolutely ridiculous. That's just a ton of Guzmas. Ton, a ton of Guzmas. Guys like my Jingle Bells. Jingle jangle. Jingling out here today. Really, uh, I said I wasn't gonna take these things off when I got home from Disney. I was so, so happy leaving Disney that I was just like, I just need to keep these things on 
all the time, but I I caved and I eventually took them off. <laughs> KDC, I haven't done the math. Listen, you see that timer like breathing down my neck, man? I ain't got time to do math. All right, so we've got team play. I do like, it, it's a ton of damage. I'm doing like a ton. I'm sure that there's like almost no realm. Well, unless they, like if they knock out a Passimian, like that's the only math I haven't done is if they knock out a Passimian. Um, like, you know, I think I still get it, because even if they knock out one of these, I'm doing three, six, uh, and then with the ability power huddle, like I do way more than enough. So we should just be fine to take it, but like I do imagine that there could be some sort of sketchy way that I lose this game. I think this is like the problem that Basimian gets itself into, is that it just, it sometimes it relies on counter energy, you have to, uh, kind of shake and bake your, your way out here at the end. Ooh, they have max potions, so they are going to have a clean Zorark, and they're going to Guzma something up. But I think we probably just win if they take a knockout with that Zorark. I think we're still cool. Like, this thing does 30, 70, and then, yeah, we're doing, like, power huddle. You know, I think we're just good there. So this should be it, right? <clears throat> Natalie is correct. The Dragon Shields were a Gen Con exclusive, so very cool. By knocking out this Basimian, they're leaving the one with the choice band, so it really doesn't matter. I think uh, we just have game on board, right? We're doing, yeah, yeah, we do have game on board because we're doing 10 plus 30. Yeah, with the shrine, busted. We just have it, so that's that, right? Let me make sure real quick and do some math. All right, so team play, so we're doing 70. Uh, 100, and then plus the power huddle, we got the DCE. All right, GG's, my man. Team play for game. Good game to my opponent. Got there with Passimian. Keeping our streak hot. 3-0 with the Passimian deck. Beat the, uh, I guess that is the, the Harrogate Regional Championship winning list there. So busted monkeys there. 3-0. And we're going to keep that streak rolling until it, uh, until it fizzles out. Why not? Haven't lost yet. It's not broke. Don't fix it. Thank you guys for joining us in the chat today. Appreciate it. Appreciate the love and support. You guys rock. You guys rock. Uh, I was playing a little bit more of my cube last night, working on the base set to Skyridge cube that I have been building, still tweaking it, like, uh, you know, still giving it some kind of final tweaks. I had Tyranitar in there, took Tyranitar out. You know, I think Tyranitar is just a little too clunky for the cube, but... A lot of other fun archetypes. I got a, a Sky Ridge Magneton in there, and the Sky Ridge Magneton's like insane, actually. And I got to uh, win a game against uh, my buddy Will last night playing the Sky Ridge Magneton. It was super sweet. Just uh, snipes for like a ton of damage. It's absolutely insane. So we've got uh, Sir Flippity Flap here in the active. I guess I'll start Sir Flippity Flap. It's fine. We don't really have too much else going on. Do have a counter energy, I guess. All right, that's fine. We're going second, so I'll just bench all the things here. Slugma, monkey, flippity flap. Awesome. <laughs> you're right. Uh, you're right, Gravius. You're right. It is a it is top tier deck. I can't really hate on it that much. I do love to hate on it. I am one of the I'm one of the people that that does hate on this deck, you know, but it definitely is strong. The power huddle is like really good. And with Tapu Koko and Counter Energy, I feel like those are all the pieces that this deck really needed to just be able to be a top tier threat, uh, especially with that Tapu Lele as well. You guys saw how I was on the back foot for that entire game. My opponent was able to keep me at bay with the muck, but then just the amount of damage we were putting on the board with the Shrine of Punishment, the Tapu Koko, all that, we were able to eventually just kind of wear them out. So this is a major yikes. My opponent's playing a Buzzwold deck, which should be fine for us, but if I don't draw out of this soon, they also started off with the turn one Lycia, which is uh, not good. Not good, my guys. So yeah, nobody wants to deal with the turn one Lycia. I think we just slapped that Shrine down, and then I don't think that this energy really goes well anywhere but I guess I'll put it on the active just in case I think so like this is all just very very bad all right I think that we just put the counter energy on the I, I guess we could stampede 
No, we're not going to stampede. But we could stampede. But we're definitely not playing that thing. We're just going to go there and then pass. All right, that's fine. So press 1 if your Buzzwell opponents always <laughs> Yes. <laughs> For sure, dude. Buzzwell never, dude. They just open the straight Lycia, too. There's the straight full art Lycia. They probably, they just had it, like, just in hand like that. Thank you, Volcanic Tiger. Yes, sure. Thank you for the bits. I will play Zorak like a rock, to be honest. I should be playing more. I should be playing more of a deck like that. Yes, thank you for that. Let loose, my man. Thank you. Uh, I should be playing more of that deck because it's a good deck. So, you know, I definitely should be playing more of it. What's up, Mega Man? Thank you for joining us. Right. I mean, Alicia is a card that makes it easy for him to have it turn one. That being said, uh, they just started the Lycia, though. Like, that's that's pretty tough, you know? I mean, how many Lycia do they realistically play? Probably not a ton. But we're about to rally back, y'all. Rally back. Let's get it. All right, so we have got uh, Rescue Stretcher. Yeah, we're we'll definitely going to Rescue Stretcher and Judge. All right. It's cool. Put a Pokemon from a discard pile. Right on back. Come on back, Slug. There you go. It's a nice looking slug. Got 80 hit points, pretty rad. Is it 80? It's got 80 hit points, big slug. But you know, my opponent just had the turn one, you know, beast though. So that eh, didn't really help all that much. I don't really think, yep, definitely not worth playing that ultra ball. So let's just judge my opponent to four. And we've got another slug, but it's cool because we could kakui into, you know, we could kakui into something. I'm actually gonna bench the other slug too just in case I need to kind of sack. Yeah, we'll rally back, that's fine. We need to apply some damage. We can't afford to flippity flap there, like most definitely not. We definitely need to keep, you know, pressure on this buzzwell here, because this buzzwell could just like take out my whole squad. And my thought process with benching the slugma is that you may or may not have noticed, but this thing can actually stampede, which is a super relevant amount of damage to do this buzzwell. I could stampede for 20, and we could potentially take a knockout there. It's not exactly what you want to do, but it's an out, right? I mean, we could do it. We get a choice band on that man, and then he's uh, then he's really getting in there. So we need to get rid of this uh, this fella here, like as soon as possible, though. This buzzwall is just like running train on my team. This is, uh, I guess, we could have rock hurled. Okay, I didn't really realize that. I think we probably go in with Rock Hurl there. Like, now that I... But actually, no, the Slugma does it. Yeah, because I'm cuckooing. So, no, 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 we're fine. Uh, we saved the Rock Hurl. Yeah, because we don't need to do 60. We just need to do 40. So, Slugma's about to get some action. Also, we're about to Brooklyn. So, that's great as well. Let's get the other man out. And then bust it smooth over. Go get him. Go get him, Tiger. All right. Now, real question, do we use the DCE or do we use the counter? I feel like we use counter energy at this point. That's probably fine. I gotta save like two counter energies just so that I can potentially, you know, later in the game do some things. But yeah, here we go, Kukui. Busted, there it is. And a Lily, sick rips, my man. Bet they didn't see this coming. Stupid! Oh yeah, get in there, Slugma. Get in there, two prizes. Bet you haven't seen it done like that. Bet you never saw a Slugma take two prizes before. Stampede doing just enough damage. Fantastic. With the Kukui, they're probably like tilted sideways right now. Like I can't believe I got to knock out this Slugma with the counter energy. He's way too strong. I know. So they've got the Baby Buzz. Oh, yikes. And B-String. I've unlocked their trap card, guys. That's, uh, that is very bad. We've got three minutes until the Dragon Shields. Natalie, you hand back the Dragon Shields. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Got three minutes, so we're giving away these Dragon Shield Pearls. Gen Con, Gen Con, Gen Con exclusive. They go for like, you know, about 20, I think like 20 bucks on eBay, maybe 20, 30 bucks, something like that. My Macargo, why'd you gotta do me like that, my man? My man, don't do that. Uh, weirdly enough, he's got a three retreat cost. Yikes, okay. I don't think that I actually knock this thing out with Passimian, right? If we have all four Passimians down, we're doing 130, but I don't think that I have all four down. So I would have to Kakui into... Thank you so much, Blue Meteor, for the bits. 
think I kind of have to poke it first. Like, that's a feel bad. I could Guzma, that's a feel bad. So I think, uh, oh, yikes, that's fine. I'll just, mm, that like feels really, really bad. Yeah, we're not, we're not gonna take this knockout. We gotta stampede. This is not good, but we're like really, really far behind at this point. All right, so I think with the three, I don't have an energy in my hand either. Like the three, I wasn't going to be able to knock out that baby buzz wool because I'm only doing like 110. I don't have a way to guarantee that I get the energy. Yeah, that's, this is just, uh, it's not great, but we'll acro bike here and see if we get ourselves an energy, which we didn't. Uh, we got an ultra ball. The Ultra Ball could be good to thin our hand down. Yeah, that's that's fine. We're going to take the Ultra Ball here. Thank you, D-Man. D-Man734. Four them bits. Appreciate it. Y'all rock. Christmas giveaways today. We got a pack of Pearl Dragon Shields about to get out of here, so really excited about that. Let's see. I think we might just... We need to take them off their Sledgehammer turn, like, for sure. So I think we just go for it. Like, can we knock anything out? We can can knock out like a Vulpix, right? So I think we probably just go for an energy here just to take them off their turn because we just have to. So we're gonna Ultra Ball away. Oh, I can do it. I got my cargo. Duh, guys, come on. Come on. Andrew's, uh, Andrew's brain is like the size of, I don't know, size of a galaxy right now. I won the, I won the winner. <laughs> I have to do it again. Oh my gosh, rigged, Natalie. <laughs> All right, guys, future Netus, never let Natalie run a <laughs> giveaway. All right, All right. so we're going to bring up, at this point, we're doing, uh, we're hitting into evolutions for more. So we're doing like 30, 70, 100, 100. I'm doing like 100 damage because I'm doing, I'm 70, 100. I would do one, 100 damage. I would do 160 to an evolution, but there's just like not really any evolution. I think like I kind of just have to take out the Vulpix. Yeah, it's not ideal, but that's just what I got. All right, so that's what we're doing. And we need to smooth over a, I guess a DC. We'll just take the DC. All right. My brain is feeling pretty galactic right now. It's really tough. I'm not going to lie, guys. It's, like, really tough to just, like, switch gears and play decks that you don't usually play. This is, like, definitely out of my concert, like, super out of my comfort zone right now. Definitely, like, not comfortable <laughs> at all. But it's fine. We work in now here. Ooh, Breakthrough Latios could be really good. I guess if my opponent comes back in with a Buzzwall or something, right? I rerolled. Like, that could be sweet. Do we get a winner? Oh, yeah. We have had a winner. Quail is. Quails. 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 You were the winner. Sweet. All right. So, yeah, Whisper Natalie, she'll get you hooked up with the deals. Quails, the winner. Thank you guys so much. We'll continue doing more giveaways. Though. That's the first of many on today's Christmas giveaway stream. All right. Let's see. So, we've got a knockout on the Vulpix. My opponent's probably going to just, like, quit because I'm taking too long. But, no, I think I actually like getting the Tapu Koko. That's, that seems, like, better just because he's got free retreat. So, I can, like, pivot to wherever I want to go from there. And then we do that, and here we go, team play. All right, get him. Go get him, Slugger. All right, so we're tied at three to three prizes, and we've got a Cynthia and Hantus. That's very good. We prized one of our Pissimians. That's been tough. Um, my opponent doesn't really have too much going on now, though. And they could bench a Buzzwall GX and potentially... Yeah, they just got nothing. That's what I'm talking about. They ain't got nothing going on over here. So at this point... Um, I mean, I kind of want like a Guzma, but I can't, I can't Guzma because I have to, yeah, I got too many cards in my hand. All right, so we're going to smooth over and then let's get that shrine back. We want like more damage and then we're just going to Lily into the shrine. That feels good. So let's do that. We need to start punishing that, uh, that like a rock, like for sure. And let's Lily into shrine. Sick rips, my man. There we go. That's good. And then I don't think that I necessarily need to like acrobike or anything right now. And we've got the Tapu Coco for free retreat. So let's just team play for, you know, 70. It's fine. And then I can clean up this fella with a, uh, like I can gladly clean that guy up with a Latios. So I don't really mind that at all either. 
And a ditto Prism Star, what? Dude, did they just like skip? They didn't even attack. All right, guys, game invalidated. They skipped, they're out. We won, 4-0, we take it. So 4-0, busted monkey deck. Uh, my brain, I feel like I'm, I'm doing like brain exercises right now. Just like, you know, getting bigger by the minute. It's just, <laughs> it's just really tough. This deck is not easy, but I haven't lost with it yet. So we need to just keep going until we, uh, until we lose, right? We gotta keep it, keep it rocking and rolling out here. So thank you so much for everybody who is here and uh, congrats to Quail Liz for the giveaway. Let's see, we could give away a sticker pack. Let's give away a sticker pack. All right, so Natalie, can you like write down who yep, wins each thing? Track. All right, sweet. Next giveaway is gonna be a sticker pack. We're gonna give away a sticker pack at 145. All right, eh, 140. 140, okay. 140, we're gonna give away a sticker pack at 140. For those of you guys, uh, see Natalie's going to get it, you guys, awesome. Thank you, Uncle Pierre, with the sub. Appreciate you, my man, Uncle Pierre. Rocking out here. All right, so we're gonna give away a sticker pack next. Sticker pack, we got the Mahone's Tricky Gym sticker packs. Thank you, Ewok Chief, for the bits. We've got the Super Stoke sticker pack. Or sticker. We've also got the Mahone and Sneasel skateboarding sticker and the This Is Fine sticker. All that comes with sticker pack, so we're gonna draw the winner at 140. All right, let's go ahead. Come on, timer. Get off my back, man. The timer is always, always just like up in my grill, dude. Andrew, Te Andrew Tesla? <laughs> Who is Andrew Tesla? Albert Mahone or Andrew Einstein? Good question, Sir Panda. All right, we're playing against some sort of Schmalimar deck. This is totally acceptable and not a problem whatsoever. Let's start out with, uh, I think weirdly, I want to Ultra Ball away. Okay, this is being very difficult right now. I think I want to Ultra Ball away the Ultra Ball and the Acro Bike. Weirdly, like that's probably just where I'm at right now. And then we are going to, oh, Riley, thank you, my man. Thank you, thank you. We are going to go get, probably just start getting Basimians out. That's fine. Actually, probably, yeah, because I wanted to attach the energy, but I guess I could attach it to the active. And we could go double counter, you never know. Sometimes you end up doing double counter energy. I think I'm just gonna go here, though. And then we're just gonna Lily for a bunch, and we're gonna hope that we hit a Nest Ball or something. Like we did, that's fine, because then we'll use that to go get ourselves a Slugma. Don't use Monkeys vs. Malamar. Right, seems bad, but this could be the one. This could be the one. All right, so sticker pack given away in four minutes. Gonna be sending out a sticker pack. The way, if you are the winner, you gotta whisper Natalie and she'll get your info and write it down, and then uh, we'll do it. So. Let's see, that thing is definitely not knocking me out turn one, so I can kind of just pass and then see what my opponent's got going on. Done! We got ourselves a turn two Macargo. I was a little iffy on the Macargo, but the Macargo's actually been super busted so far. I'm definitely, uh, definitely into it. Oh, the matchup's free? Right, that's what I'm imagining. We just like flying flip a bunch and then we could just like, Boom! With a tabu lele and just destroy everything, right? Like we're just going to have everything just get wrecked all at once, right? Seems like really, really easy. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna bench like a bunch of tabu cocos and we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be a okay. We'll give away a few sticker packs. This is uh, so if you don't win the sticker pack, we're gonna give away probably like a few of these. I need to start just giving away stickers more on the streams. Like stickers are a lot of fun. I'm also gonna start doing um, t-shirts, okay? So apparently Teespring is integrated with YouTube and since I used to work for Dariums, or, you know, I kinda got that hook up with the Teespring, uh, the Teespring integration is on my YouTube channel. So I'm going to be getting Tricky Gym shirts up there, like, that's like a January project. So I'm really excited about that. That's gonna be something that we're doing soon as well. So thank you, D-Man, for the bits. Says, so I have a Gardevoir Zorak, and I'm pretty sure it isn't a viable deck list. Should I, be, should I build around Guardi or Zorak? Um, 
Guardi uh, is really well with Swampert. So Swampert's like super affordable. You could just uh, swap out the Zorark for Swampert. Uh, check out Limitless TCG, D-Man, for Jimmy Pendarvis's winning Gardevoir Swampert deck. It's very, very strong, uh, and I highly recommend it. So we are going to get in there with the Tapu Koko here. I think I want a choice band. I'm not sure that I really need too much else, so I think I'm just gonna like smooth over and just get like the choice band, probably. Like I don't really need anything else. I'm just gonna like get that. <clears throat> Give me the choice band. Bands maker dance. Bands maker dance. Um, I have six sticker packs for your boy. Six? Sick. Oh. All right, Natalie's got six sticker packs. But if you guys have not checked out the uh, the new banner, let me know what you guys think of the new banner on Mahone's Tricky Gym on YouTube. Uh, I'm really excited about it. I think it turned out very well. <clears throat> All right, we don't have a Rangaroo yet, and I don't actually want to get rid of any of these things, so I'm not going to. I ain't going to do it. All right, we're just going to fly and flip. That's fine. I really don't need anything else. Like, we're just going to fly and flip a bunch <clears throat> and then get in there at the end of the game. Uh, Volcanic Tiger, thank you for the bits. Not today, my man. We're doing giveaways today. Today's theme is giveaways. We're just doing really, really, uh, really hype giveaways today. So stickers, we gave away the dragon shields, all that. Natalie is the best. She's out here already like sealing up and like getting the envelopes all. Exactly, that's really, really great. So Natalie's uh, super organized right now, helping out with all that, so that's fantastic. You guys like, can you guys tell that my my bells are like blinking. Can you guys see that? It's probably not dark enough. Four more flying flips till you win. Uh, you're not wrong, Riley, yeah. Not wrong. How did this thing get to the bench? Altar of the moon? More like altar of the, I don't know. Altar of the butt. <laughs> no, I don't like the stadium at all. The stadium I think is just not all that great. I don't know, I feel like uh, Malamar like likes to retreat its energy a lot, you know, so I really don't okay, like go. it there. All right, another sticker pack. Here we go, or the first sticker pack. The winner is, let's go. All right, another scoop, 5-0, 5-0. We out here with Vesimian. Winner of the sticker pack, let's go. Who's gonna be? Her. Oh, uh, Apocalypse? Apocalypse, yes. Apoxal Apocalypse. Every 10 minutes. I'll give every 10 minutes, this. sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every 10 minutes, we're going to give away a sticker pack. Apocalypse, you are the winner. Make sure to whisper Natalie there for your address so that we can send this sticker pack out to you. You rock. All right. So, there we go. We're going again. Passimian. We're like 5 0. We cannot lose. I'm convinced we cannot lose. <clears throat> That's what I was telling Will last night. I was playing uh, Smash against Will, and we, went, we ended up going like pretty even and Super Smash Brothers, it's a lot of fun. But my favorite character in Super Smash right now is Lucas, right? Love Yarden Lucas. Yarden just sent me her address. <laughs> Yarden, I'm calling you out publicly. <laughs> <laughs> Yarden, you didn't win, Yarden. You can't just send Natalie your address and expect free things. It's not how it works, all right? You gotta actually be called, your name has to be called, Yarden. That's how you win, all right? You don't just DM Natalie your address, all right? <laughs> That's not how that works. I think she just wants you to come hang out. <laughs> We're hanging out in Toronto. Uh, Riley, no, you will not. I was s smoking Will last night with Lucas. I was smoking him so hard that I told him I cannot lose. I was like, I'm convinced that Lucas is the best character ever. And I was just like embarrassing him early on. I was, I was like, uh, you know, PK fire. PK freeze is so insane. Like you just, it's a finisher. You could finish him with PK freeze. It just like, he didn't even know you could bust out of the ice. So he was just getting hit with PK Freeze and just getting like launched. And he's like, what in the world is wrong? I told him, he, I had to tell him though. I couldn't, I couldn't hold that from him. All right, so we, we want some stuff going on here. Let's, uh, we're gonna bench the Passimian for sure. Then we're going to Ultra Ball away. <clears throat> I guess I should have Acro Biked first. It's usually how that works, but Whatever, we'll get rid of two Guzmas, that's fine. It's not like we wanna do, but we'll do it. We'll get ourselves a slug, that's fine. And then, I should've acro biked first, I think, cause then like you ultra ball for the thing you didn't hit, like there's a chance that you hit like a, I don't actually like care what I keep here, like that's fine. 
keep that. We don't actually want either of them. Then we'll rescue stretcher, let's just shuffle. Yeah, that's fine. All right, we'll put that guy back into the deck. Sure. Slug. That was like a really awkward hand to pare down. And I don't want this Tapu Lele down yet. Definitely not. That's fine, because we got the Macargo, so we can make it work here. I'm just gonna drop the shrine here. My opponent literally has nothing going on. There's almost nothing that my opponent can do next turn. I guess they can like, we'll get another Tapu Koko. I guess they could maybe knock out my guy, right? With Photon Geyser, they could do 100. No, they would need the beast energy uh, in order to knock out Tapu Koko. So I ain't even scared. I ain't even scared. Don't even care. We're Gucci. This thing's weak to dark, right? Yeah, it's weak to dark. All right, that's fine. And we're gonna get ourselves a nice, wholesome Orangaroo. Busted! I know, Mega Man. Just now tuning in. I've been playing Monkeys the entire stream. I have not played this deck before. Thank you, Flex Daddy Righteous. Thank you, JW. I appreciate it. Oh, they. Oh, I was gonna say if they had the Beast, I was about to be super salty. But no, it's just that unit energy. So stop bashing Monkeys against Palavar. <laughs> Riley's mad. You mad, bro? You mad? All right. We should have benched that other. We should have benched another Slugma or something. We're just benching all the men, Riley. We're getting them out here. They're ready to go. All right, so we need our other slug, probably. Yeah, and then I want to Kakui into something meaningful, like an energy. But they don't actually have any Malamars out, so I don't really care. Like, they can't actually do anything to me, right? Like, oh, goodness. All right, I think I think we could Kakui and just hope for an energy. Yeah, no, it didn't get there. That's fine. All right, next turn, my guy. You ain't got it this turn. You are fine. Fine. Natalie giving away more codes there, and Dr. Quake and Poker giving away some codes as well. Thank you for the generosity, Mr. Quake and Poker. Appreciate it. Sweet. And glad you guys were finally, glad you were able to get one, Qualis. All right, my opponent finally benches an Inke. They are, uh, I guess, finally on the board here. I really am not a big Malamar fan. It's like so many decks in format I'm like not a big fan of. Decks in format I like. All right, let's talk about that. Decks in format I like. Blacephalon. Love Blacephalon. Busted deck. I also really like uh, Decidueye. Busted Decidueye. I also enjoy, I think Guardi's not bad. I like Guardi. So Guardi, I like Guardi. And then everything else just is kind of, eh, that's how I feel about it. The Pasimian deck might be my favorite non-GX deck, though. This deck seems pretty sweet. I'm actually kind of cool with it, so. Let's see. Oh, Zach Burkle, take it easy, man. Thank you for joining us. Awesome, yeah. More sticker giveaways in four minutes. We're sending away another sticker pack, so. Let's get it. Let's get it, chat. Getting that Christmas spirit with some free stickers. Free stickers. I want to start designing uh, more stickers soon. It's just, uh... oh, now we get the DCE, my man. All right, it's fine. I'll rock with it. But I still got tons of stickers that I still own, so I'm not, you know, not quite uh, gonna design any more yet. Let's see. All right, we're going in. Smooth over. Give me something good. What do I actually want here? My opponent's up. So we probably just want like another choice band, just like a pro apply a lot of pressure. I could also get like a uh, counter energy, I guess. Like I'm not taking any prizes here. So we're just gonna want the counter energy. So we're just gonna like guarantee ourselves an energy for next turn by getting the counter. And then Lily into it, so that's fine. I can Guzma later. We're just gonna flying flip for now. Just do tons of damage. This is gonna be super free. Like Riley said, like we're just gonna flying flip a bunch and then we can like even use the Latios. Like that thing does a ton of damage to these Psychic Week Inkays. It's just gonna be very, very easy here. While my opponent just takes single prizes, it's gonna be very, very awkward. 
Four flips after this turn and you win. Pog What's up with the all caps poggers? Can someone explain that to me? <laughs> That's a better Twitch emote. It's like an extension you can in and install. So Riley and I set up so you can send some of the other custom emotes. To How come I don't see it? All I see is all see caps poggers. I have to install it for you, so you can't see them. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So so I just have to use my imagination yeah, and imagine I'll like a you. very funny em emote every time Riley says all caps poggers. Yeah, I'll show them for you later. <laughs> all right. Do you are you guys gonna see it if I do this? Do you see it? We can see it. Yes. You yeah, guys, so you, so I just did it? Uh-huh. Uh, okay. It looks like this. It looks like what? All right, I need to, Natalie's giving me the computer here so we can, uh, what's the, pie? I just sent it. Oh my gosh, <laughs> a frog? I don't want to send the frog. I don't like him. All right, he's ugly. Ugly frog. Not into it. Tate and Liza? Now you got a Tate and Liza over there. I know. JW, we can't see it because we're over the age of 25. That's what happens. You just like stop being able to see the internet. <laughs> uh, we no longer have access to the internet with our eyes You're just dropping. because. <laughs> Natalie hates it when I talk about being too old to understand the internet. I know. She hates it. It's like her least favorite thing that I do. <laughs> I know. I know, JW. I know. I'm telling you. I just. Uh... All right. We got one more minute until a new sticker pack is given away. One more minute. New sticker pack, giving it away. The super stoked, super sweet, tricky gym sticker pack. One more minute. And Natalie will be drawing the winner. Hopefully it's not Natalie again. No, I'll just re-roll it. I know. I know. All right, here we go. Let's see, we got ultra space. We probably don't need to do all that. Yeah, so I think we just, uh, yay. What do you guys feel about another flying flip? You guys like that? We'll just flying flip again? Probably seems fine. Uh, what if we just Guzma and flying flip? That seems pretty good. All right, let's just do that. Yeah, re-roll. Who was it? <laughs> Riley. <laughs> oh, my God. Natalie. How many <laughs> yeah. viewers do we have? Ten? I know. <laughs> How many viewers are those? Seriously, though. Okay. Um, I'm kind of curious. 79? 79? 76. Uh, 76? Busted. All right, let's smooth over. And I don't know. For next turn, sure. Let's grab, like, a bando. Did they counter the stadium? Oh, I don't like that. Encounter my stadium. I want my stadium back. I also kind of want a choice band. I think, I think the choice band's like just better. Uh, nah, the stadium's good. Yeah, we're gonna grab stadium. All right, we need that. And let's just do it again, my man. Here we go, fly and flip. Let's get in there. The ultra space. They got ultra space, so they might not have an easy way to knock out. Um, I don't know, this Tapu Coco. I mean, they would have to have just like Guzma in hand or something like that or, you know, so on and so forth. I kind of just have to Guzma that turn because we're just like prepping for a Lily eventually. Like that's kind of what we're going for. Uh, I also can Guzma and Tapu Lele, like probably next turn. We're looking at like a Guzma and a Tapu Lele. We're gonna like knock out a bunch of stuff here all at once. So that's kind of what we're looking for. I think, you know, my opponent really can't attack with this thing. If my opponent attacks with this thing, it's just like game over because they have to do 40 damage to like, is it two or one? What is it, put four damage counters on one of your Pokemon? Yeah, so they do four damage to one of their Pokemon, which is absolutely horrendous. I honestly don't even care. You can take out the McCargo all you want. Like we are good to go. Uh, who won? It was Ewok Chief Chirpa. Congrats, Ewok Chief. You are the winner of the sticker pack. Busted. All right, I need to come up with a, uh, I need to come up with a trivia question. The final giveaway of the stream is going to be a trivia question. I've already decided that. So, okay. That's going to be the final giveaway. The ender. All right, we got that busted shrine. So I only need to put 180 onto that ultra across my order to knock it out. And then right now we're like almost there. I can knock out one Malamar. I think. Okay. So, do I just flying flip one more time? No, I'm out of like, I'm out. I could flying flip one more time. I could flying flip one more time. And then, if we flying flip one more time, um, then we just take like everything all in one turn. I think I like that. I'm going to flying flip one more time. And we're going to knock out both Malamars in the same turn. Okay. So, and then we're going to take like four prizes in one turn. That's really good. Commit to the flips. I agree, Riley. We're committing to the flips, all right, my man? We're committing. I don't want to bench any of this stuff. So, like, we're just going to go in with Lily. That's fine. All right, more cards. Very good. Very good, actually. Choice band two. All right. 
we are committed to the flips. All right, we're gonna do that. And I think I wanna just rescue stretcher. Uh, I actually don't really care who I rescue stretcher back yet. I think it could be slug. I think slug to give myself an opportunity to potentially get him a cargo out again. Um, that's probably fine. Yeah, so we're gonna get the slug back. Discard pile, get slug man. Slug man, slug man. All right, here we go. And Flipmeister. All right, so we're doing like an insane amount of damage there. They're at 180. That thing is dying coming back into my turn. And now we're just at like, oh, busted. Like these guys are just pretty much goners, dude. Oh no, he saved himself. That was my final shrine. My other ones are prized. So. We're doing more sticker packs, yes. I have prized two Shrine of Punishment. So we're giving away more sticker packs every 10 minutes. So in six minutes, six minutes, we're giving away another sticker pack, so. Hang tight. And then I need to think of a trivia question. Hmm, trivia question. Hmm, I was gonna say I could ask uh, anybody who could figure out what high school I went to. That'd be kind of funny. They could still look at your Facebook. They could just, well, it's still a race. Oh, you know? I can't solve it. Yeah. Let's see. That's a, no, because now you said it. We're gonna I know that back. was. Uh, I know I'm not going to use it, right? Because that was a uh, that was just a, an idea that came through my mind. Went to Bel Air High School in Maryland. There's a Bel Air, Maryland. Now you know. Making a Pokemon trivia question. You're right, but I don't know a lot of Pokemon trivia. All right. I do. I do have one. I think I have one that I'm. I'm probably going to use. I don't know. Flavor text is too. Uh, it's too tough though. Hmm. Yes, that would be very difficult. Let's see. We could do, hmm, I will think about it further. I am playing Passimian Lindo Cafe. There's another code. Prince of Bel-Air, right, yes, uh, Sir Pandage. That's not the first time I've ever heard that. <laughs> Definitely not. I know, right? I know. All right, so we got some Psychic Recharge going on. My opponent got a Photon Geyser, this thing. Take a knockout, go down to two prizes. All right, at this point, we're feeling like this. I don't think I could take all six prizes in one turn, right? Like that probably isn't happening. Oh, busted top deck, yeah. All right, so that's very good. We got 180, plus 60, 240, plus 60, 300, plus 60, 360, 400. We've got 400, uh, 400 damage. So we got 210 after the Ultra Necrozma goes down. Then we got both these guys go down. Uh, that's 180. Uh, so then we'll have 30 left. So we could take four prizes and my opponent will only have 30 left. If we flying flip one more time, actually, if we just flying flip, these guys both go to 80. Um, if we flying flip, that thing gets knocked out. We waste 10 damage there. And my opponent gets to Psychic Recharge one more time. I think, uh, I think we just do this now. That's fine. And then uh, I think we just go in here. That's fine. All right, Guzma up, that fella. And I think I do it, all right. This is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling it now, all right? Feeling it now. We gotta smooth over. Let's put some more, I don't know, some gas on top of our deck. We could Latios, potentially, if we need to. Uh, that could be good. Guess I'll we could get Rescue Stretcher. What do we, like, want? Kakui, I guess. Probably another energy. Yeah, let's just get another energy. Uh, we're gonna take four prizes here, so I think we need to take, like, that. That's fine. So we're gonna get ourselves another energy just in case. And then I need, you think flying flips the play, Riley? I don't know, it feels sketch either way, but like we're just, uh, we're doing it. All right, so here we go. So we're gonna put 10 there, and then we need to put uh, three on each of those. So we'll take this off there, boom, boom. And like, I guess, like if they go in it, they're only gonna have one Malamar, like that's pretty good, I think. And one potential Malamar, they might not even have it. I don't know. And then we could judge again. So, I don't know, Riley. 
I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out. I think with one more flying flip, I don't know if I was. I don't think I was gonna be able to take all prizes in one turn though. I think I was a. I think I was a turn. A turn late. Like I was a turn behind. So, I think we just go here, and then. <laughs> oh, Ewok Chief, have faith. All right, have some faith. We're gonna be just fine. That thing's gonna need to go down. So we're gonna need to knock that fella out. And he resists fighting. Good. All right, yeah, you're right. All right, I didn't realize he resists fighting. All right, that's like a little bit sketch, but probably fine. That thing's got 90 hit points, weak to psychic. That's fine. All right, we'll just do that. So we're going to take four prizes here. Busted. Thank you, Dr. Quake and Poker. For the codes. All right, we got flippity flap. We got that flippity flap action going on. Sweet. And we got two prizes there. Acro bikes. Flippity flap. Flippity flap can actually take a knockout on that thing with uh, rally back. So if my opponent does knock out the Tapu Lele this turn, I can rally back for a hit into it to be very good. I could acro bike. Uh, they can't actually Don Wings me. I'm never, they're never going to be able to Don Wings me. So that was really good. All right. This is four prizes. Let's see. So they'll take one. They only got one Malamar. They got a unit. All right, so they can attack with this thing. They might just have game then. Unless I take out this Don Wings, which I just can't, I don't think. Um, I would have to like knock out the Don Wings this turn, which is just not actually possible. Like I could rally back. They don't actually have a way to, oh, I was gonna say they don't have a way to retreat. They got a Tate and Liza in their hand. But what are they gonna do here? Hmm. They can invasion for game. This is not good. And they're gonna put the 40 damage there. Okay, so I am a little bit stuck. Oh gosh, Riley, you can't win. Stop trying to win, my guy. All right. Got another sticker pack giveaway to, who's it gonna be this time? I guess I, if it draws Riley Mega enough. Man. Is it Mega Man? Yeah, All right. Man. Mega Man, you are the winner of the sticker pack. Congrats. Congratulations. All right, so we're gonna put the shrine down. All right, I don't think I could do it. Like, this guy does rally back. It does 120, I guess. There's a possibility. No, my opponent could just retreat into this and shadow impact. I think I'm out. Either way, they could just, you know, they could psychic recharge and stand in. They got an energy in the discard pile. We'll bench that. I don't think that there is a way out here. We could judge. But even then, they got psychic recharge. They've got it. So I... You know, even if I rally back that shame in there, they could retreat the Malamar for two, or the Dawn Wings for two energy into that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, my opponent's got it. I don't think that there's anything else I could do. Smooth over, look at my deck real quick. Yeah, so. I think even with the flying flips, though, I wasn't going to get there. I think I was going to be a little bit short um, either way. So super, super close game there. Um, seemed pretty good. Good. My opponent was just able to limit their bench. They're telling well played. Are they watching me? Do they know? Do they know that I, that they have won? They can they see my hand? Maybe they could see my hand the entire time. All right, guys. I am going to be right back. I have to use the bathroom. I chugged a coffee.